and Cork is tracking another round of rain moving in. So leave some extra time this morning for that drive. Yeah, you certainly want to Kelly and getting a live look outside right now. We've got rain falling across our region. You can see this is that live look at downtown Chico Highway 32 and Main Street. You can see the ponding of a little bit of water on the roadway and you can see the rain drops filling those puddles right now. So we are tracking some active weather across our region to start off your morning. It looks likely we're going to be continuing to see more wet weather through the day. So make sure you have your umbrella handy. And of course, as you can see here, the roads are slick. So you want to make sure to give yourself a bit of extra time to get to where you're going. Leave a little early today and leave yourself extra space between yourself and other vehicles. Now the threat of flooding it's not gone. The flood watches expired last night. They expired early, but they're going to be going back into effect today at 10 a.m. in the Valley foothills in northern Sierra. This is set to last through noon on Thursday due to this rainfall that could potentially overwhelm rivers and streams and lead to burn scar mudslides and debris flows. This is going to be through early tomorrow morning in Trinity County. A live look at what we're seeing out on our river right now. The Sacramento River currently we're seeing areas of Glen County where we're getting a little bit closer to the flood stage at this hour. It looks likely we could be seeing the Tehama Bridge, Woodson Bridge, Hamilton City area and Ord Ferry all threatened with flood stage today, although none of them are projected to actually hit that stage throughout your Wednesday. Temperatures are not the only issue for us today or rain as well. Snow is going to be a big factor and you can see a winter storm or winter weather advisory that is now in effect through 4 a.m. tomorrow morning in the northern Sierra as well as last and then Plumas counties due to around a foot possible of snowfall. Could see a little more than that in northern Trinity and Siskiyou County areas where the winter weather advisories are in effect through this evening. Wind this morning breezy and out of the south gust today could get up to 30 miles an hour early today, but those winds diminish towards the afternoon and they're not getting any stronger heading into your late week forecast. So some good news there. The winds finally subsiding, but what's not subsiding is the rainfall. It's just ramping up this morning just south of Redding and Shasta County. Anderson getting hammered right now with rainfall. That pocket of heavy rain extending down into Red Bluff. You can see west of Corning into Hama County. Another pocket of rain tracking towards Corning. It's going to hit Corning in the next 20 minutes and you can see down to the south of that light to moderate rainfall in Butte and Glen County areas at this hour with snow ramping up in our mountain zones as well. We have a weak trough of low pressure along the California and Oregon coast and then a wet system tracking towards the west coast and that one's going to bring a bigger round of wet weather on the way late Friday in through at least early to midday on Sunday. So we've got another round of wet weather heading your way after this one subsides and you can see early to midday. That's where we're seeing the heaviest rainfall for the valley. After that, it looks like towards the afternoon and evening pockets of heavy rain still possible in the valley, but it's mostly mountain areas seeing the heavier precipitation 11 PM still heavy rainfall on the way tomorrow morning. Projections have us mostly drying out for the day on Thursday with a slight chance for some scattered showers and then holding off until Friday evening before we see that next round of rain and snow returning, ramping up in intensity on Saturday and then lingering showers Sunday with more wet weather possible early to midweek next week. So as you get a look at the rain totals through tomorrow evening, we're looking at over three quarters of an inch of rain in Chico, over an inch and three quarters in Redding, some higher elevations eclipsing an inch of rain in the Sierra with over an inch and a half in the northern mountains. And through this weekend, rainfall totals over three and a half inches for Chico, over four and a half inches for Redding, five plus inches in Weaverville and four to five inches in most of our higher elevations of the northern Sierra. You can see snowfall totals run a half a foot to a foot of snow likely today and then continuing to see snow totals ramping up through the weekend with up to three and a half feet of snow looking possible. Highs today 40s in the northern mountains, 30s to 40s in the Sierra and southern Cascades, foothills in the 30s to 40s as well, 40s to low 50s in the valley, rain and breezy south winds through the day as well. So just be prepared, have the umbrella handy, but again it does does not look like that flooding threat is quite as substantial as what we saw earlier this week. The big concern is our ground is already saturated. Tomorrow it looks like we'll see a lull in the wet weather in your storm tracker. Seven day forecast where your weekend's always in view. Rain then ramps back up Friday night through Saturday. Showers persisting Sunday with more rainfall looking likely through the early to middle portion of next week.